I'm, it's kind of a classic I'm lab clumsy. in college. I know. Okay, it or AP chemistry too, or whatever. Yeah. Okay, hey, same type problem except we don't have a balanced equation. Okay. Some of you still, I bet, are still struggling with writing a balanced equation, and that's mm. just part of it. You've got to go back and put your charges together, but you know. You're going to get good at it because you're going to get to do it the rest of the year. Okay, so lithium. Lithium! I have a lithium story. No, oh. I don't. No, you sodium? have a potassium story. No, it was lithium. A oh. friend of mine. Another another. Uh, he was an environmental engineer. He metal story. He was, yeah, he was an environmental engineer at um, uh, Rocky Ford Nuclear Weapons Facility, and for some reason they used lithium in that process. Hmm. And um, he was uh, investigating the lack of lithium in their storage and discovered that um, a couple of the workers had taken a big hunk of lithium, like this big, and thrown it into the lake. Oh, I bet that's fun. Yeah, and I guess it blew up, and it was very exciting, and they were bragging about it. Long story short, they got fired. So Yeah, that yeah. tends to happen when you, you steal things from Steal explosives. And, yeah. <laughs> lithium explodes. And, like, you steal explosives. Yeah, those guys lost their jobs. Okay. Yeah. So he was telling me that story. He got, he, they didn't like him for that. Okay. <laughs> lithium. All right, so lithium is just Li. Reacts with copper 2 phosphate. Hmm. So copper is Cu plus 2. The Roman numeral is the? Charge. charge. Always the charge. Charge. Charge, charge. charge. Phosphate. If you end in an 8 that's got some oxygen in there, that's a PO somebody. PO4. Negative 3. So when we put those together, that's a really weird one. Cu3. PO4. 2. Now, it doesn't tell us. Well, actually, it does say. It it's says 1.2 grams of copper is actually formed. Okay, so that's product. So we know it's going to be copper, but then he's going to get together with Single lithium. Single replacement reaction. So we have to write lithium mm -hmm. and figure out his charge. His plus charge one. is plus 1, reacting with a negative 3. So we need 3 lithium. So you say Li3PO4. Three. Three, yeah. Now we go back and we balance, balance the, the equation. equation. Complex guy is this one right mm -hmm. here, so we'll leave him here. So let's do the copper first. Three. Put a trace there. We got two phosphates. Mm -hmm. So if I put a two here, and this gives us six. six over here. All right. Now, what do we know? We know 23.4 grams of copper two phosphate and 15.3 grams of lithium. Ooh. 15.3 grams here. Oh, I know. I see. Oh, did I throw this one at you, Mr. Sams? 23.4 grams. And we get 1.25 grams. We have two reactants that both have a mass. So this is a limiting reactant And a percent problem. yield problem. And a percent yield problem together. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to convert grams of copper phosphate to grams of copper. And then grams of lithium to grams of copper. Yep. The lowest one will win, but then that will be the number. That number needs to be larger than 1.25, in theory. I guess it still could be. We could more than yeah. a percent, but that's not going to happen. Yeah. I think we're doing problems always like that. Yeah. And then we'll divide to find yes. our percentage of yield. So we have to do a gram-gram problem. If you can do this problem, guys, you can do then you are anything amazing. in this unit. You are good to go because you can write and balance an equation. You can do limiting reactive stoichiometry, and you can do percent yield. Except for the molar mass one, but that's okay. Well, that's coming. So next. grams of Li to one mole of Li. Seven. Seven. Is it seven point zero or six? It is six point nine four one. So we'll call it seven. No, six point nine. Six point nine four. Well, so we, we want three six. Figures. Well, we just go to the tenth. The okay. Time. And then we're gonna say uh, what do we say? Was six moles of lithium. To three moles of copper, and then we're going to say one mole, no, one mole of copper to sixty-four, sixty-three point five. Copper. Sixty-three point five yeah. grams of copper, and I get what, Mr. Sam? Uh, uh, seventy point four. Seventy point four grams right. of copper. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take the 23.4 grams of Cu3. I'll write this 100 times. So I'm like, Cu42. I guess I wrote the problem. Okay. Uh. And then I'm going to say grams of Cu3, PO4, 2. That's going to be pretty complex in terms of its molar mass. You'll have 3 uh, times 63.5 plus 2 times 31 plus 4 or eight, uh, 8 times 16. Can you do that in your head? No, I don't know. 380.5. 380.5. I should have saved more space there. And then we're going to say, I want to say one mole mm -hmm. of the Cu3 PO42 to three moles of copper. One more step, and I'm going to say there are one mole of copper to 63.5 grams of copper. 
And this gives me what, Mr. Sanders? That uh, is 11.7 grams. 11.7 grams of copper. Well, the lower number is 11.7, yep. right? All right, so I have, I'm expecting to make, you know, here in my copper right here, I'm expecting to make 11.7 grams, because that's the limiting reactant. But yep. I only made 1.25 grams. Not a very good yield, really. No, not at all. So what would you do? Well, you'll take 1.25 grams divided by 11.7 grams times 100. 10.7 percent. But no, I mean, the unit is percent on this one, okay? Yeah. Okay, so if you can do these two problems, again, let's kind of go back and just do a quick review here. There we go. Okay, let me change the color of the pin. I think it will highlight it better for us all. If the pin would like to go in school, it's called red. Okay, you're going to convert the grams of the lithium, of, of a reactant, let's just say, to the grams of the product. If you've got two of them, you've got to do both. The lowest one, which turned out to be the 11.7, it was the lowest answer. But then you take the amount that you actually got, and you divide it by the amount that you got, and then you times it by 100. Yep. That's how you do percent yield problems. Good? All right. We'll see you in class. And it, no more playing with the lithium or yielding. You need to yield more on your car, don't you? Is that what you're I just need to slow down. Just slow down. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably true, too. All right, especially today. There's like ice on there. Uh-huh.